All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-Ameen, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. A word of advice to the du'at, okay? One thing that I've noticed in my five weeks here in the UK, that a lot of du'at, very argumentative, very argumentative. They want to argue about everything. And I've had dinner with a number of the du'at, like they want to argue even on personal preferences. If a brother says, I like apples, this other brother tries to insist pineapples are better than apples, and so on and so forth. So please, 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 do not, do not get used to like arguing all the time, interrupting as well. It's a very, very serious thing. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you look at the seerah, he never, ever, ever interrupted. Even when they're insulting him, saying rude things, a man would come, hey, if you're a madman, we'll get you the best doctor. If you want women, we'll marry you off. Imagine saying that to the best prophet. We'll, if you want women, we'll give you women. If, you wanna, if you're mad, we'll get you the, a doctor. And if you want money, we'll give you money. If it's leadership you want, we'll put you in charge. And the man kept going and going and going. And the Prophet never interrupted. And when he was done, he said, Atharabt, are you done? Then he says, Fasma minni. Listen, now listen to me. So don't interrupt. And, and interrupting is not like, it's not a talent or a skill. Many do I think they're talented that, okay, watch this, watch this. I know when you're going to shut up and now I'm going to come in. Bam! I come in with my interruption. Don't do that. Let people finish. Listen carefully. I'm telling you this. I'm noticing this with du'at in the UK. They don't listen very carefully. And they interrupt you in mid-sentence. I didn't finish what I was going to say. So don't interrupt. It's not a skill and it's not a talent. Number two, don't argue about everything. If it's personal preferences, if it's things over dinner, let it slide. You don't have to win every battle. So this is my advice for the du'at. Please listen carefully, pay attention. Don't be all about arguing and what's your dalil, what's this and what's that. So be that gentle person that everybody would love to meet and sit down with. Don't be that person just everyone can't wait till the dinner is over because I'm sick and tired of having to hear you. You get used to in da'wah talking all the time. So in the dinner you want to talk all the time. You want to explain theories and concepts all the time. Don't do that. Contain yourself inshallah. That's my advice to the du'at of the UK. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.